So hi, my name is Jamie Phillips. Um, so I've been wanting to do these videos for a while and I've been asked at conferences a lot, how do I get started with DevOps? So let's go with the definition that I like most in DevOps, which is the one by Donovan Brown. DevOps is the union of people, process, and technology to enable continuous delivery of value to customers. So I bring this up and I talk about this definition because that's the one thing that we tend to gloss over. And it is definitely a union of people and processes. But the thing that you have to keep in mind when you're getting started with DevOps is it's really about people and relationships. When I got started with DevOps, it was about nine years ago. And it's taken me nine years to really get to where I do that every day. And it really started for me when I started hanging around with the operations team. So my background's development. And I started hanging around with the operations folks, started having lunch with them, started understanding what I was doing and how that impacted their lives. They're typically the ones in traditional IT businesses where they're the ones that are on call. They're the ones that have to deploy this software that I wrote. And I started learning how to communicate my needs to them ahead of time so they could help me succeed in my job. Because that's really what operations team wants, is they want to help the business and you succeed. It may not feel that way. It may not seem that way. But that's really all anybody ever wants on operations, security, you as a developer or as an operations person. Everybody wants success. And I think we lose that empathy for each other and we see each other as hindrances. So when I'm asked the question, how do I get started with DevOps? My answer is really going to be go have lunch with the folks in operations. Go have lunch with the folks in security. Because that's where you're going to build the relationships and learn communication. That's really going to help you succeed in your DevOps journey. DevOps is not going to work by introducing a tool. DevOps isn't a tool. Processes and practices of DevOps are important. But if you don't have relationships with people that you're working with, you don't know them, you don't understand their concerns, you don't have empathy, then you're not going to be successful. It's really not going to help. And, and that's the thing that you need to know if you're going to start your DevOps journey is to build relationships. Start seeing the other side. Start understanding what their concerns are. I like to tell stories uh, when I give a talk or when I'm talking to people about this. So a fine example of talking to um, other teams, especially security and operations if you're a developer. So one of my first jobs, we had a really tough security team. And typically if they didn't know that you're going to be launching an application and you invited them to a meeting like a week or two before launch, uh, typically they'd come in and be like, no, that was their standard answer. And that's because they didn't know what security risk they were opening themselves or the organization up to. They didn't know what was happening. They didn't understand it. So their gut reaction was no. You can't do that deployment in this time frame that you're asking because we need to understand what kind of threat this is going to introduce into our environment. So I started having lunch on a regular basis with everybody in security, and I started talking to them about the projects that we were working on, started talking to them about the solutions that I was trying to put in place. So when they had these meetings where we needed to launch these applications, they would come in and they would be like, sure. That's okay with us. We already know what it is. We understand a little bit about it. We know Jamie. We trust Jamie. If he's been involved in this, then we've had conversations. We're okay with it. And that just goes to show that that's a culture piece that a lot of people miss is the communication, is the camaraderie, the friendship, the, 
the friendships that have to be in place. And so when you start your DevOps journey and you ask the question, how do you get started? Step one for me is really go make friends, go have conversations, break down those walls, break down those barriers and start communicating. Only till that culture has been fixed are you really going to be able to embrace the full effects of trying to shift into DevOps? Because you're going to run into those situations of things that you're going to need others' help. You know, if you're a developer, you may not know the most about administration of a Linux or Windows box, or even how to get started doing automation of that. Or maybe you need help with some networking configuration. That's where your your operations team is going to come into that. And you have to include them. You have to make them part of it. You can only work around that team so long if that's what you try to do. And so that's part one of what I really wanted to say is focus on the culture and getting to know everyone. I'm going to start including some additional parts. The videos will come later, but I wanted to get this one out um, just so it can get the ideas simmering. So you can start putting this into practice by having lunch with people on other teams, on operations, security, even other development teams, right? Because if you go down the road of DevOps, it's a whole org organization impact. And you need to know that everyone is supportive and on board and you have to build that support. So that's really the first thing when I'm answering, how do you get started with DevOps? Tune in, hopefully later this week, maybe early next week for part two, where I'm going to cover what I would recommend as the next step for getting started with DevOps. See y'all later.